Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have some pretty, pretty kind of, well, kind of really weird and kind of bad stuff when it comes to this GameStop drop. Now, we actually just made a video on a little bit ago where we kind of were complaining a little bit about the drop where there were people getting consoles and there were people finding bundles and there were people getting the hookup, you know, all the usual stuff. But the one big issue is that, well, some of the stock was a little bit lower and everything else we were seeing was kind of on the mediocre side. And, uh, I don't know, it wasn't that good. But, ever since then, we've actually even seen even more kind of just annoying stuff up on Twitter, and people tagged me in it, and, yeah, it's just annoying. <laughs> it's just very, very annoying to go and see that this GameStop drop kind of seems like they're trying to go and weasel their way, and kind of scheme their way on into... Well, just kind of some lame stuff. Like, they're just, it's just not going good. And, well, now they're trying their best to go and sell some of the most expensive and kind of craziest bundles I've ever had a chance to go and see. Now... Some folks out there are just getting their normal consoles, just by paying a little extra baby bit of money. You know, it's not the craziest amount or whatever. Uh, but, man, like, it's been kind of rough with, like, the, everything else tied into it. So I'm going to talk about that, talk about the issues, and a few other little kind of cool stories, too, as well. And revolving some other little game news, and actually some pretty cool PSVR 2 news, too, as well. So a lot of stuff to go talk about, and as well, hope you guys are having a fantastic weekend. And as well, if you guys want to, keep on mentioning the Samsung links down below for your 50, free 50 bucks. Down below, go and check them out out. Feel free to be mentioned this for the next few days. If you guys want to, down below, all free, no commitment, everything easy peasy. We have the Twitter and Twitch room down below, the Amazon links down below, the Weeble Coinbase down below, and everything else down below too as well you know the giveaways and all that type of junk too on top of that so one of the kind of big things i mentioned when it comes to this is that most of these things are all bundles nonetheless and we've been seeing the bundles you know if you guys we just slowly talked about it. i'm sure you guys have heard we'll probably talk about it tomorrow but like they have some bundles but they're kind of kind of expensive you know they have there's like an 820 840 bundles you know like, it's not the world's worst, and we did also report that you can kind of exchange some stuff and move some stuff around, so it's not the end-all, be-all. But it does kind of seem a little bit more on the struggle side, because it does seem like, number one, it all obviously costs a lot of money, too. All, you know, bundles are always like that. But then number two, you gotta worry about the stock. The stock numbers are going kind of low. It wasn't really that good. But now, we have to go and worry about another bad thing when it comes to GameStop. We kind of wonder what they're thinking, and are they just basically scamming people at this point? So, we've actually been seeing this flowing around, too, where, basically, there is a bundle. <laughs> this is going to be a big rant. Just, just brace yourselves. You guys will probably be upset with me as well. A $1,000 GameStop PlayStation 5 bundle. What on earth is going on here? So, apparently, here's two, like, kind of really big issues and caveats that we hate. Number one is that apparently some store locations were only selling this bundle. Like, apparently, like, a lot of the stores, though, are just doing the normal, like, normal bundles, as we just kind of went and mentioned over there in general. Like, you know, this these normal ones with games, you know, video games, and, like, you know, headsets and video games and controllers, like what you'd expect in a normal PlayStation 5 controller. And then some places are literally doing TVs. <laughs> Which, I mean, okay, let, let's first and foremost go and say this isn't the, like... The idea isn't that bad. Like, let's say you haven't upgraded your TV, or maybe, like, you're doing it for, like, a college dorm, or maybe you just came home from college, or maybe you're moving out, maybe you're in an apartment, maybe you, whatever, whatever you do. Sure. Um, it's, it's literally $1,100. This is a very, and that's probably pre-tax, dude. That's a very expensive bundle. So what it does include is the PS5 console, you have the wireless headset, you have the controller, you have Gran Turismo, you have Ghost of Tsushima, and then you get the LG 50-inch Nano Cell 4K Smart TV. Now, once again, there's probably better TVs out there, and it's not the, like, I, I, I don't want to say it's the world's not worst bundle, because, I mean, who wants to, like, it's a very niche bundle, nonetheless. But, like, it's so random. Like, why on earth did they decide to do this? Why on earth did they decide to, like, throw it? I mean, this is obviously for profit, or maybe just have a lot of stocks in around. But it just stinks because apparently the drama was that they were only allowing uh, these to be sold. So instead of doing any proper consoles and bundles and everything else, too, as well... It's just this. It was literally just this for stores. So people were sitting out there and like they were even seeing like tweets or like articles or my YouTube videos, stuff like that. And then they show up and it's like, oh, I thought it was gonna be like eight hundred bucks, which is expensive as is, but not twelve hundred dollars, you know, after tax. 
And it's kind of just like, I'm like kind of thinking like, what are they thinking? Like, what, what is going on here? Now, once again, like I get it, like maybe they'll sell out, maybe people will get them. But if I saw this on my GameStop door, I would probably just leave. Like, I, what, I don't know, you guys can leave your comments down below. I would probably just end up leaving, like unironically. I'd probably just be like, nope, too much, I'm out. I don't need a TV, I already got one. If I want to get one, I'll get one on like, you know, on Black Friday, just wait for a good day, or wait for a good deal on Amazon, or whatever it might be. Or just save up money for a nicer TV too as well, like a nice OLED TV. And I'd probably literally just leave. <laughs> unironically and there's also been a part two of this too where we've been hearing even more drama is that apparently some people are claiming that some of their consoles had to have a warranty in part of the bundle like you know how we have like the bundles where it has like the list of literally everything here apparently some folks were actually required to go and have like say like this you see how they have like, the product replacement plan of like one year 50 bucks two years 70 bucks apparently some people were reporting that their stores made them have to have that warranty like the built-in warranty too as well so all of this is kind of lame like it's kind of dumb like i don't think i want to be forced to get a warranty especially because you know for sony themselves they have their own proper warranty as well like they have their own playstation 5 warranties so you literally just go and email sony and like or call up their customer support or do live chat or email or you know whatever you know just normal stuff or even return it to the retailer like you know that happens so the fact that literally gamestop is trying to go and nickel and dime everyone so so much it's kind of sad like, at the end of the day, like, it actually kind of makes me kind of sad. Because it's like, bro, who wants to throw, like, $1,200? And I'm actually not even sure if you even still have to be a GameStop Pro Rewards member. Like, even even then still, like, I, <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I'm, like, almost somewhat disappointed. Like, it's just so much money. And like I said, with warranties being included in, like, smaller stock, this drop actually kind of seems like a little bit worse than expected. Like, I'm actually not really happy with this drop so far. Now, I do want to reiterate, though, we have seen some folks out there who have gotten their consoles and had had their normal drops and had what they expected, but I don't really like this bait and switch. I mean, maybe it's maybe they only got a few stocks. They're just trying to make the best of it and trying to make a store profit, or I'm not really sure exactly, you know, at the end of the day. Uh, but, yeah, I don't know. It just seems like a lame... I don't like this. I think it's stupid. Like, come on, we're like 19 months into this drop. Why can't we just... Like, why can't GameStop just be selling those normal consoles at this point, you know? Like, why do they always stuff to be bundles? I mean, I get it. Money. You want to make money, sure. But, like, why do you got to throw in a TV? Like, what, what if someone was not even expecting a TV? What if they don't even have a car to go put a TV in? What if they literally, like, Uber there? I don't know. Like, everything about this just seems so dumb, but also include on the warranty. So, give me your thoughts and comments on that down below. I, this kind of GameStop drop is actually a lot worse than I was expecting. And as more and more information keeps on coming on out, the more more a little bit disappointed i actually have been getting so not fun not fun but yeah you guys can give your thoughts and comments down below in gamestop y'all have been losing it that was a little bit of kind of interesting news if you guys already have your psvr there's also on reddit where basically some psvr games already have apparently upgraded the next gen patch on ps5 even on the old psvr2 uh, so without the psvr2 so uh, interestingly enough they actually had a chance to go and see no man's sky vr which was funny enough they actually have the free upgrade already like it's already gone and like already is working better and i'm not sure if this is just preemptively for the psvr2 which will hopefully be coming out sooner rather than later or it's just a random sneaky update they threw out in there or just you know whatever may or may not have happened but at the end of the day at least we have some cool stuff. And there's also Zenith, The Last City, which I've never even heard of in all honesty. I think that was one of the PS Plus games, possibly. So maybe they just worked a little bit more closely with PlayStation and trying to make sure this stuff is all working good, feeling good, and all of that. But it is kind of interesting to kind of see all these kind of freer updates and just random stuff, especially as we kind of get closer and closer and closer towards the PlayStation VR 2, as that will hopefully come out sooner rather than later. So cool stuff with that. I'm excited for that. Now, as well, too, we have also have another game that I'm hyped up for. That's why I always tell you guys maybe follow the Twitch, is the Quarry. Apparently, already had like its first hour uh like you know preemptive stuff of people checking out the game and everything out there and i loved playing until dawn like if you guys want i will probably be streaming this up on twitch if you guys want to see the experience at nighttime but basically everyone's been saying so far the initial reviews is that this is probably one of the best games they've actually done so far so a lot of folks are saying the quarry is fantastic and like it's a good horror game and everything else just seems super super cool so basically like a lot of folks like folks are just saying like this is awesome like it's a really good vibe the game flows well uh just everything seems cool i like this i like that i've been hearing such good reviews reviews and such good comments on this i love it especially because until dawn was such a good and well-made game now we also even saw even more intriguing kind of tweets over here too from uh Yushe over here or Yosp over here basically kind of more highlighting on the new game reveal sneak peeks and updates and as he goes and kind of reiterates the read carefully we'll have some exciting reveals from our third party partners plus a sneak peek at several games in development too as well so i am still very very curious on what this kind of drop's going to be now on thursday 
I'm sure we're gonna see a lot of PSVR 2 and some PSVR stuff in general. Sure, that's awesome. But at the end of the day, I'm actually quite curious to go and see on what games and if there's gonna be like Final Fantasy stuff still or even God of War stuff. Like you guys can even kind of see a lot of stuff like being like, hey, like any like information with God of War Ragnarok and stuff like that too as well. And like and like people are still stretching it for and looking for it. I'm hoping for it myself. We can kind of go and see. And also a little bit of cool, even more VR stuff too as well. Where Modern Warfare 2 has actually been doing some VR too on top of that for some uh, VR to news just on top of that in general so some little fun little stories and kind of little disappointments on GameStop leave your comments and thoughts down below check on the Samsung link down below too as well all free free 50 bucks and everything the Twitter and Twitch stream down below the Amazon links down below the Weeble Coinbase down below the giveaway down below and everything else down below and I appreciate you guys all so much for watching in the first place